Tennessean newspaper launches investigation after printing horrific full-page ad that claims there will be a nuclear attack by Islam detonated in Nashville on July 18th. What's going on, guys? Make K Electric. It is Wednesday, the 1st of July, 2020. This is an Operation Blackjack warning for the summer of 2020. I'm going to give you this first link here. Let me read you some of this. The Tennessee newspaper in Nashville is investigating how it came to print a full-page advertisement Sunday by a French bub- biblical prophecy group that claimed Islam is set to detonate a nuclear bomb in the city. The ad, which featured pictures of Donald Trump, Pope Francis, and burning U.S. flags, was credited to the Ministry of the Future of America, a group that claims its mission is to proclaim the final warning message from the Bible. Now, those of you who know me know that I am not a religious person. However, I'm willing to listen. While I don't think a nuclear weapon will be detonated on that specific date in that specific city, I have been waiting for over 10 years and warning of a possible multiple city, multiple country nuclear detonation that was proclaimed by the Telegraph years ago called Operation Blackjack, also by the TV series Jericho. I will put links at the bottom if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'll link you to this story first. You know, if ever there was a year for Operation Blackjack to play out, let's just take a look at where we are midway through the year of 2020 in the United States. America's disintegration no longer sounds like a crazy prediction, but no one will like the consequences. This is an article from RT that goes on to talk about how statues are being toppled and all the crap that's going on. Of course, the past 30 to 45 days has all been enraged around two stories, in particular the George Floyd incident, which in my opinion was murder. However, there are several suspicious things with this story, including the fact that they apparently knew each other. I'll put a link to this story and most recently the Richard Brooks story, which in my opinion he should not have been shot and killed in the back. But I don't think that that prosecutor is going to get a conviction on felony murder either, because if he has a halfway decent lawyer, this officer can say he was in fear for his life because something was shot in his direction. But we'll see how it goes. Now, all of this brought about the whole Black Lives Matter movement enragement. Uh, Black Lives Matter says, if this country doesn't give us what we want, we will burn the system down and replace it. Figuratively or literally is a matter of interpretation. Now, what's gone on the past 30 to 45 days is some Black Lives Matter, yes, but... You know, these piles of bricks that appeared in cities across the United States, I don't believe that had anything to do with Black Lives Matter. I think that had more to do with George Soros and the New World Order. They saw an opportunity and they took it. And look at what we're seeing. You know, is Operation Blackjack about to happen? I don't know, but the destruction of America is definitely happening. I'm going to give you just a series of articles here. Is Thomas Jefferson statue torn down at Portland High School. They are erasing... American history. I don't believe this has much to do with Black Lives Matter. I believe this is about the New World Order agenda. I could be wrong. RT says Portland protesters tear down George Washington statue. We got Theodore Roosevelt statue removed from steps of Museum of Natural History. We got Christopher Columbus statue torn down, set on fire, thrown into a lake in Virginia. This is happening all over the United States. There is a full-on war on American history. Let me clue you in on something, people. If a country doesn't have its history, you don't have a country. There's talk of getting rid of the Star-Spangled Banner. Liberal pundit wants racist U.S. national anthem replaced. Up in Seattle, we got Chaz. Occupiers are just rounding up all the white people into work brigades. Now, it has been awesome to see white people in the streets with black people all around the country, but there is an agenda for the racial divide. Make no mistake. By the way, they're breaking up Chaz as I'm making this video. We'll see how that goes. Trump, for those of you who don't believe he's playing his part, Trump retweets a video of a parent shoot, supporter saying, White power. You can scroll down and watch the video if you want. He has since removed the tweet because he claimed that he didn't know that that was in the video. Really now. It's only a two-minute video and the white power part is right in the beginning. I find it hard to believe that he didn't know that was in the video. I believe he's playing his part. Three black men found hanging spark calls for lynching investigations. People are being lynched, I believe, uh, California, New York, and somewhere in Texas. I'll put a link to that. Minneapolis City Council unanimously approves proposal to disband the police. Yes, I believe there should be police reforms. You know, my suggestion would be get rid of revenue-based policing. Stop writing people all these tickets for bullcrap nonsense. Protect and serve. But that's a whole other discussion. You people... 
that want to dismantle and abolish police departments across the country are out of your freaking minds. Do you know what would happen? I'll put a link to this. Let's talk about it. D.C. Police Union poll. 71% of cops preparing to leave the department. Well, I wouldn't want to be a cop either. But what happens if we lose law enforcement across the country? Well, just look up in New York. They're talking about billions of dollars of cutbacks just today. Weekly NYC shootings soar 358% over last year. Data shows up in Chicago. 104 people. 104 people shot. 15 fatally over Father's Day weekend. Do you realize what would happen to this country if we just abolished all police? Yes, I believe there needs to be reforms, but getting rid of all police? What are we going to have? Community policing? How's that going to work? Well, first of all, if anyone is shot or stabbed or there's a violent anything, you're going to lose firefighters and paramedics because they're not going to go into an unsecure scene. So, you know, rethink what you're talking about when you're talking about dismantling police departments. Other stuff going on. Miami to fine people $500 if they don't wear a mask. This is happening all over the United States now. The psychological operation that has gone on since January in this country is unbelievable. First, they guilt you into staying into your home, saying, oh, you got to stay home. And in some parts, it's illegal for you to even step outside your front door. Then they want you to wear a mask everywhere. Now, let, let, me, let me make this clear. If you want to wear a mask, that is your personal choice. But you do not have the right to mandate that I wear anything. This is what you call soft tyranny. What's been going on with this COVID bullcrap is a soft tyranny experiment. Make no mistake. They're treating this thing as if it's Ebola, as if your eyes are going to bleed out of your head. People, it's a virus. We have viruses all the time. Take precautions if you feel you need to. But you don't have the right to tell me to wear anything. There are actually videos everywhere now of physical violence. People getting violent with one another over the fact that they are not wearing a mask. And Americans are falling for it, hook, line, and sinker. So you got that going on. You got Joe Biden comes out and says, I will force Americans to wear a mask in public. Oh, really, Joe? Really? People better prepare themselves for the fact that Donald Trump may not win re-election. We might have Joe Biden if we even have an election. If Operation Blackjack goes down, well, watch the second season of the TV series Jericho if you want to know what I think is going to happen. But if Joe Biden wins, maybe that would be a good thing for the YouTube community because maybe everyone can pull their head out of their ass of this fog they've been enveloped since Donald Trump became president, and we can actually get back to the task of fighting the New World Order. Anyway, I digress. New York conducting random checks to ensure quarantine compliance. Show me your papers. More of this going on. Make no mistake, they're talking about this isn't even the second wave. This is the first half of the first wave or the second half of the first wave because XYZ protocols weren't followed, yada, yada. We're going to have this COVID nonsense for the rest of the year. It's going to be coupled with uh, a flu season. They're talking about mandatory COVID vaccines when that comes out and mandatory flu vaccines. In fact, my next link will give you that. New COVID-19 restrictions will be needed for anti-vaxxers. I'll make a prediction that will 100% come true. You will not be able to work. You will not be able to bank. You will not be able to travel unless you can prove your vaccination. This will happen in the United States. I guarantee it. On top of all this mess, the financial fallout from the COVID thing, 30% of Americans didn't make their housing payment in June. Think about that. 30% of Americans didn't make their housing payment in June. On top of the cake, we have the U.S. debt clock, at least the debt that they're telling us about, $26 trillion and rapidly climbing. Is there going to be an Operation Blackjack incident that's going to reset everything? Well, in both Operation Blackjack and in Jericho, you have the terms, our debts have been forgiven. And as I have maintained here for over 10 years on my channel, I have told you our debts will have to be forgiven. And I told you that when the debt wasn't even half that high. Because what you're looking at on the screen is inevitability. Yes, I believe there will be an event that forces a reset. I believe all of the foundation has been in place for this. I believe what's going on in the United States over the past 30 to 45 days, it's George Soros funded New World Order bullcrap. Coupled with the COVID thing and that whole PSYOP. We're in a lot of trouble, people. I really wish I could sit here and be optimistic. But I expect a huge event at any moment. 
that will push everything over the edge and then on the other side of it when all of the dust settles they'll bring in the new world order the forced vaccines disarmament of america the whole thing we've been talking about all these years please leave a comment in the comment section if you have an alternative argument you tell me how you think this is going to turn out will donald trump win re-election i doubt we're even going to have an election things are changing rapidly and they're changing daily if you're watching any of the mainstream coverage of anything they are blasting at you 24 hours a day you must wear a mask this morning on cnn they're 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 talking about how trump just signed an executive order to protect the national monuments over the fourth of july weekend and they're saying these monuments aren't important they don't mean anything but if you don't wear a mask we're all gonna die they're gonna close the beaches down here and there for fourth of july weekend how's that gonna i mean people are sick and tired of it so on top of you know all of all of all of the division all of the police stuff all of the COVID stuff prepare yourselves for civil war my best advice that i can give to anyone People always ask me, what can we do about it? Prepare to defend yourself. Prepare to protect yourself and your family. Gather supplies if you haven't already. Be prepared for what's to come. Because the financial, even if everything goes great, and everything just, the financial fallout from the COVID thing, you wait till state and local governments run out of money and they can't pay police, they can't pay firefighters, they can't pay paramedics. You're going to see a whole new level of shit hit the fan. And that's if everything just goes perfectly great from here on out. Please tell me what you think. Please share this video. Please rate it. Pass it around. Make people aware of this information. Now, do I think there's going to be a nuclear event in Nashville on July 17th or 18th or whatever it was? Probably not. But do I expect Operation Blackjack at any moment? Yes, I do. On top of a summer of rage. People are upset to the max. They're erasing American history. They're tearing down founding fathers. This is what I've talked about all these years, about how it doesn't matter who the president is. The agenda is going on, and it's coming on hot and heavy. It's going to be a very hot summer. You guys take care, stay safe, remain vigilant. Things are changing rapidly. I will see you on the next one.